When research is planned, it's important to anticipate all the factors that might affect the behaviour under scrutiny, but which are not the focus of the research. The term of these factors is extraneous variables. We do not want extraneous variables to influence the dependent variable, because then we cannot distinguish the differences between the two conditional groups. Extraneous variables can be separated into three classes. Situational variables. These are aspects of the research situation other than the independent variable, which may influence the dependent variable. To control for these in a study, the researchers should keep the situation the same for everyone and use a laboratory or controlled environment where possible, so that the environment is the same for everyone. If the researchers are using a field study, then they should try to keep as many factors the same as possible, for example, the time of day. Researchers can also use procedural controls, which is where they specifically instruct the participants to avoid doing certain things which may have an extraneous influence of the DV. Another type of extraneous variables are participant variables. These are aspects of the participant's characteristics or experiences, other than the independent variable, which might influence the dependent variable. To control for these in a study, the researchers could use a match pairs design or repeated measures design. They could also use an independent measure design, but make sure the participants are randomly allocated to each condition. In this way, any participant variable should be randomly and equally distributed across all the conditions. The final types of extraneous variables are experimenter bias. These relate to effects of an experimenter's expectations, which are somehow communicated, intentionally or unintentionally, to the participant. These, in turn, can sometimes induce demand characteristics in the participant, which are cues in an experimental situation that are picked up by the participant, either consciously or unconsciously, which can cause them to alter their behaviour. In fact, just knowing you're in a research situation may instantly make you subtly alter your behaviour so that you appear to be a good or interesting participant. To control for these in a study, researchers could use a single blind technique, where participants are not told the aim of the study to prevent them from altering their behaviour in relation to this. Researchers could also employ another researcher who only implements the procedure and does not know which condition the participant is in or even what the aims of the research are. This means that the researchers should not consciously or unconsciously influence the participants. I hope this video has proven helpful for you. If you want more psychology videos like this, remember to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching!